بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم کلاس ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ کلیریفکیشن پروسیس آف شوگر بائی سلفائٹیشن فاسٹ فائٹیشن اینڈ ڈبل کاربونیشن اینڈ آلسو ڈبل سلفائٹیشن پروسیس ایز ان پریویس لیکچر وی ڈسکس دا کلیریفکیشن پروسیس دیٹس آبجیکٹ is to remove all kind of impurities from cane juice that may be present in colloidal or suspended or soluble form. For this purpose, different methods are used like liming, carbonation, sulfitation, phosphitation, etc. In last lecture, we already discussed carbonation in which firstly lime is added to raise pH along heating and then carbon dioxide is introduced which is a result formation of insoluble calcium carbonate that form due to reaction between carbon dioxide and calcium oxide or lime. This calcium carbonate adsorb all the impurities that may be in any kind like suspended, colloidal or soluble form. After that, clarified carbonated juice allow to settle calcium carbonate precipitated at the bottom while descended carbonated clarified juice sent to evaporator tank. Similarly today we will discuss sulfitation, phosphitation process and double sulfitation carbonation of the clarification process. Now the defecation remelt sulfitation process. Juice sulfitation is the process of purification of the cane juice by employing the lime and sulfur dioxide gas. This process generally used for the clarification of the sugar cane juice in planetation, white sugar manufacturing industry. The raw juice weighed in the weighing tank of the pH 5.2 to 5.3 is heated in the juice heater at 70 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius. The juice is subjected for the continuous liming and sulfitation process to get sufficient removal of non-sugars and finally maintained neutral pH of 7 to 7.1. After the addition of lime and sulfur dioxide gas, the sulfited juice heated slightly above the boiling point 102 degrees Celsius to 103 degrees Celsius and it is passed to the juice clarified through the flash tank for setting of the mud. Now the mechanism of the sulfitation process the inhibition of color formation is reportedly cleric in 1997 brought about by the combination of the sulfide group with reducing sugars blocking the carbonyl function which is necessary for the caramel formation. It is well established in 1989 that sulfitation will inhibit Miller type reactions also by combining with carbonyl groups. This reaction is reversible in particular sulfited carbonyls are prone to losing sulfited groups over time as these compounds are slightly unstable. As the sulfite is released as sulfur dioxide, the color may be returned as has been found when milky white sugar from sulfitation process is stored. 
sulfide ions react with unsaturated carbonyl groups and some flavonoids which shifts the light absorption out of visible wavelength it is also explained further that these new compounds remain in liquors and can later polymerize and undergo condensation reactions to form highly colored aromatics Sulfidation is often regarded as a reversible process. Some color is in fact destroyed, but new color is later formed from the breakdown products. There are permanent effects of sulfidation, among them decomposition, modification, or polymerization of color compounds such as polyphenols, melanin. and pigments now this is a typical diagram of the sulfidation reactor as we know in sulfidation process of the clarification involves the addition of sulfur dioxide along with the liming this clearly shown in picture sulfidation reactor is made of stainless steel in order to avoid corrosion due to acidic nature sulfur dioxide gas in picture it is very clear that reactor is connected to liming inlet from where the continuously uh, lime is added into reactor at the bottom of the reactor there is inlet for the sulfur dioxide gas where as at the top of the reactor juice inlet is present from where cane juice is introduced into that reactor a stirrer is also attached with the reactor the purpose of the stirrer is uniform mixing of sulfur dioxide and calcium oxide with the juice the reactor also attached with the heater for the purpose to boil the raw cane juice and the during boiling some used overflow from the reactor that also be collected and again sent to raw juice tank the introduction of calcium oxide lime and sulfur dioxide take place inside the reactor and reaction procedure which results the precipitation of the impurities that may be in suspended or colloidal or soluble form after sulfidation process clarified juice settle down where impurities remain at the bottom while decant sulfide juice sent to next evaporator tank now is the reaction take place during liming and sulfidation process there are two type of precipitated reaction take uh, during sulfidation process of clarification one is the formation of calcium sulfide and second one is formation of calcium bisulfide firstly we will discuss the precipitation of calcium sulfide how the calcium sulfide is formed it is cleared from the this reactions the solution of calcium hydroxide will dissociate completely into its ions and the ph of the lime solution is above 
at 30 degree Celsius when sulfur dioxide gas is passed. L liquid sulfurous acid is formed. The sulfurous acid get dissociated into its ions at high initial pH into hydrogen and sulfide ions. And we know immediately product of calcium ions and sulfide ions which exceed the solubility product of calcium sulfide and more calcium sulfide precipitate will result. Meanwhile, the hydroxyl ions from the calcium hydroxide molecule will react with hydrogen ions or protons and with the sulfurous acid to form undissociated water molecule. With continuous sulfitation, further more and more calcium sulfite will be precipitated. The resulting gradual decrease in calcium ions, the stage will come when the solubility product of calcium ions and sulfide ions, the solubility product of calcium sulfide with the minimum calcium ions remain in the solution. Now the second one is the formation of the calcium bisulfide. How calcium bisulfide precipitates are formed, the reactions are follows. If we pass more sulfur dioxide gas, then pH will be on the acidic side. With decrease in pH dissociation of more and more bisulfite ions are possible. Then stage will come where system is try to maintain the balance of sulfite ions concentration as it is reduced by dissolving calcium sulfide precipitated. Now sulfurous acid changes into its ions which is proton and bisulfide ions. Now dissolved calcium sulfide changes into its ions which is calcium ions and sulfide ions. Now the hydrogen ion coming from the sulfurous acid and sulfide ions coming from the calcium sulfide to form bisulfide ions. Now the precipitated calcium sulfide is equal to dissolved calcium sulfide when calcium sulfide reacted with sulfurous acid to form calcium bisulfide. So at the end of the sulfitation process of the clarification, there are two precipitated produced formed that all the kind of impurities that may be present in cane raw juice when these precipitation has been done, juice is placed for setting. The decant liquid also known as sulfited juice sent to next evaporator unit and while impurities remain out from the bottom. Now the methods of juice sulfitation process. There are different methods of addition of these two as given below. First one is pre-liming 
and the second one is presulfitation followed by liming and sulfitation third one is simultaneous liming and sulfitation process and the last one is shock liming followed by sulfitation now first one is pre liming the pre liming of raw juice is conducted to ph of 6.8 to 7.2 it is done in separate tank in order to have the retention time of maximum 2 minutes During this period the lime reacts with phosphate available in the juice to form precipitate of calcium phosphate which absorb lot of coloring impurities this process helps in the increasing the mud density In the second stage the pH of the juice is raised up to 9.5 to 10 the juice kept in on this pH only 10 to 12 seconds and the sulfur dioxide is added and maintained at 7.0 to 7.1 this method is useful in case of stale cane are burnt cane are during high mud level period now the simultaneous liming and sulfitation process in this process the lime is introduced just the entry of the raw juice in the juice sulfitation tank and then it is immediately neutralized by sulfur dioxide gas to get the ph 7.0 simultaneous liming and sulfitation system is basically emerged to avoid disadvantages of the both pre sulfitation as well as pre liming system the simultaneous liming and sulfitation system of the cane juice clarification is more similar to pre sulfitation system the only difference is pre sulfitation time is maintained as about 3 to 4 minutes but in simultaneous liming and sulfitation time is just few seconds during the whole reaction the ph of the juice maintained below 8 ph and in most of the cases below 7.5 ph now the next due to this juice is not subjected to high alkal alkalinity and this result in minimum destruction of the reducing sugar but at the collide and other impurities are not fully precipitated out as driving force the resultant clear juice obtained by simultaneous liming and sulfitation reaction always contains high turbidity generally more 20% now the advantages better terminal settling velocity as well as lower mud volume minimum calcium oxide rise from mixed juice to clear juice better clarity of the clear juice than the previous methods now the disadvantages 
लाइम एंड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड गैस मे डायरेक्टली कम इन कॉन्टेक्ट बिफोर प्रेसिपिटेशन ऑफ द इम्प्योरिटीज एंड ऑल्सो गेट न्यूट्रलाइज दिस इंक्रीजेज अननेसेसरी लाइम एंड सल्फर कंजम्पशन The clear juice quality obtained by this method is very poor in respect of color than chalk liming. This indicates the lower impurities in precipitated and which is resulted in low removal coloring impurities. now the pre sulfitation followed by liming and sulfitation in this process the 70 degree celsius heated raw juice comes in contact with the sulfur dioxide gas and ph is brought down from 5.2 to 4.2 to 3.8 then it is again increased to 7.5 to 8 by liming the lime juice ph is further reduced to neutral ph that is 6.927 by sulfur dioxide gas The drawback of this process is that juice remain in acidic main for 3 to 4 minutes which cases sucrose inversion The advantage of the method pre sulfitation of the juice leads to better settling characteristics of the mud in the case of immature cane destruction of reducing sugars can be minimized or eliminated and now we will discuss about shock liming followed by sulfitation the juice heated up to 70 degree celsius to 75 degree celsius then the ph of the raw juice is suddenly raised to a level of 9.2 to 9.5 only for the few second and followed neutralized with sulfur dioxide the final ph is maintained at 7.027.2 the main advantages of this method is operator can be correctly judge the ratio of milk of lime and so2 gas by checking of shock lime ph and final sulfited juice ph so finally it will give better efficiency in reaction vessel considering all these aspects shock liming system was found superior over all other methods of lime application high shock liming time higher the destruction of the reducing sugars from the juice which may result more coloring matter in juice and may tend to poor sugar quality is main disadvantages of this process now the automatic control of the juice sulfitation sugar cane juice is susceptible to wide variations of the ph temperature and time in the manual operation an automatic operation will certainly pay rich divides by maintaining the above parameters within permissible limits 
ऑटोमेशन विल बी क्वाइट स्पोर्टिंग टू अ वेल डिजाइन जूस सल्फाइटेशन यूनिट to achieve better results it is advisable to have the following juice flow stabilization and ph control system now the juice flow stabilization juice flow stabilization is the first and foremost need for the undertaking the automation in the processing of the sugar manufacture no ph variation if it is works successfully and efficiently then there is no need for any automation in the subsequent stations up to evaporation and the no variations in sulfidation process flock formation or flock settling is the efficient no and other one is ph control system the main objectives at the clarification station are to increase the ph of the juice to a level at which losses of sucrose by inversion are kept to a minimum and maximum removal of insoluble and soluble undesirable substances online measurement of the ph is very essential to meet the above objectives the measurement of ph has been in practice since long the laboratory measurements are very simple and easy to maintain the juice sulfidation process ph control in juice sulfiter consist of following methods first one is single loop control method this means final ph control according to final ph lime dosing is varied and the double method double loop control here shock ph and final ph control is two loop control the juice settles a more rapidly the better crystallization in consequence and marked improvement in color of the sugar saving in time in clarification and boiling and better elimination of phosphate and waxes leading to better refining quality and filtrability of the sugar produced and now the major drawback of the system is a higher sulfited ash content of the sugar obtained the sulfur dioxide content in the final product having approximately 30 to 70 ppm due to acidity of the sulfur dioxide gas the corrosion of the equipment having in higher size the lime dosing required for injection water to maintain the ph now the third method of clarification is phosphitation as its name indicates phosphitation so in this method addition of phosphorus and its derivatives in the form of phosphoric acid and phosphorus oxide the addition of phosphoric acid is also done in presence of the lime as in previous method the purpose of liming is to raise ph and provide calcium ions in phosphitation process there are also two kind of precipitation reaction take place one is formation of calcium bisulfate and second one is calcium triphosphate these insoluble product are formed it will cleared from the reaction 
फॉस्फोरिक एसिड अकर्स इन द कीन जूस एज बोथ सोलबल फॉस्फेट एंड इन कॉम्बिनेशन एज प्रोटीन इन द सेल मेटीरियल बट बोथ फॉस्फेट्स आर नॉट पार्टिसिपेट इन रिएक्शन ओनली द सोलबल फॉस्फेट्स टेक पार्ट इन द रिएक्शन ऑफ क्लैरिफिकेशन आर डेफिकेशन प्रोसेसिस If phosphate content is less than 200 to 300 mg of the phosphorus oxide in juice it is beneficial to make additions of inorganic phosphate to raise the juice phosphate level to above 250 to 300 mg per kg The phosphoric acid added to juice precipitates part of the colloid and coloring matter that it contains. The precipitate formed with lime is mainly tricalcium phosphate. The process consists of precipitating insoluble calcium phosphate of variable composition in hot melt liquor by first adding phosphoric acid or or an acid phosphate followed by calcium hydroxide either as celery with water milk of lime are dissolved in sugar syrup as lime separate to give a final ph of 7.2 to 7.4 the two following reactions take place simultaneously when calcium ion reacted with biphosphate ions to form calcium biphosphate and when three moles of calcium ions react with two moles of phosphate ion to form tricalcium phosphate product now the benefits of the maintaining an optimum level of phosphate in juice are first one is greater colloidal elimination and the second one is less calcium in clear juice third one is faster mud flock formation with more rapid settling and now the last one is better clarification with lighter colored clarified juice and also there are some disadvantages of too much phosphate addition that are higher chemical cost second one is higher lime consumption and the third one is higher mud volume and hence a higher filter mud sugar loss now the reaction of phosphatation the major chemical reaction is that of the calcium cation with the phosphate ion to form phosphate intermediates and to precipitate tricalcium phosphate in the beginning the calcium ion reacts with biphosphate ion to form calcium biphosphate this is second order reaction and hence it is fast reaction when calcium cation react with biphosphate ion to form calcium biphosphate and the now second stage phosphate ion reacts with three with free calcium ion to form the precipitate of tricalcium phosphate 
This is a higher order reaction and hence time to complete. When 3 mole of calcium cation react with 2 mole of phosphate ion to form tricalcium phosphate or 3 mole of calcium hydroxide react with 2 mole of phosphoric acid to form also tricalcium phosphate plus 6 water molecules. Now the defecation remelt double carbonation double sulfitation process. Sugar is the refined using the double sulfitation carbonation method which refers to practice of adding sulfur dioxide or derivatives and calcium hydroxide along carbon dioxide. In a manufacturing of sugar in two step processes. Now the double carbonation. The main objective of the carbonation process. First one is the objective of these processes is to remove the impurities that cause turbidity in raw melt liquor. Carbonation is generally applied to melt liquor in refinery ahead of any decolorizing process. Carbonation has a double effect on sugar liquors. It is also purification process enabling a color reduction of about 40% to 50% together with the reduction in age content of about 20 to 25 percent. These impurities are subsequently removed in succeeding filtration process. Double carbonation was done by preheating raw juice to 50 degrees Celsius and liming with 3 to 5 gram calcium oxide to a pH 10.5 to 11. The pH was then reduced with carbon dioxide to about 10, temperature raised to 60 degrees Celsius, flocculent applied and the mud settled for the about 60 minutes to 25 to 30 percent of the initial volume. No precautions were taken to remove dissolved air from the juice. The supernatant from the settling and filtrate from the vacuum filtration of the thickened mud were combined and pH of the combined clear juice then reduced with carbon dioxide to pH 6.5 to 7. The carbonated juice was brought to boil and the small amount of second carbonation precipitate removed by filtration under vacuum. Now the reactions in carbonation process. This carbonation process involves two steps. The first step involves the formation of voluminous and gelatinous precipitate by reaction of calcium and carbon dioxide. The second step involves the conditioning of precipitate in order to improve its filtrability. The impurities are both absorbed by the particles of calcium carbonate precipitated by the reaction of carbon dioxide and calcium hydroxide. And now the flow diagram of carbonation process in sugar refinery for raw melt clarification. Now 
द प्रोसेस कंसिस्ट ऑफ एडिंग सेलरी ऑफ कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इन टू रा मेल्ट सोल्यूशन इन टू लाइमिंग टैंक टू इंक्रीज द पी एच टू टेन पॉइंट फाइव टू अलेवन लाइमिंग टैंक इज इक्विप्ड विद एजिटेटर टू कीप द लिकर एंड लाइम सोल्यूशन मिक्सचर इन सस्पेंशन एंड फॉर बेटर मिक्सिंग generally the carbonation process consists of two carbonators working in the series as first carbonator and second carbonator the limed liquor from the liming tank flows transfer to first carbonator tank where scrubbed carbon dioxide gas drawn from the boiler flue gas after dilution is admitted to react with lime in limed liquor to form calcium carbonate the carbon dioxide addition will be controlled according to the carbonated liquor ph in first carbonated liquor tank ph maintained about 9.5 to 9.6 and amount of 75% to 85% of the carbon dioxide gassing is carried out in first carbonated tank the carbonated liquor passing from first carbonator to second carbonator the ph of second carbonated liquor tank comes is 8.2 to 8.4 and amount of 15 to 25% of carbon dioxide gassing is carried out in second carbonator tank now the carbonated liquor from the second carbonator tank flows by gravity into carbonated liquor buffer tank each carbonator is equipped with richard tube for the better mixing of carbon dioxide with liquor and facilitates the online cleaning of nozzles and avoids jamming which results better color reduction in carbonation system boiler flue gas is used as a source of carbon dioxide requirement for this carbonation process and the concentration carbon dioxide gas is about 12 to 14% in scrubbed flue gases the carbonated liquor heated to 85 degree celsius in tabular heaters and filtered in membrane pressure filters to separate the calcium carbonated precipitate from the liquor at last clarified melt from the carbonation system will be subjected to second decolorization process now the double sulfitation process heating of the mixed juice or raw juice comes from the juice extraction system before the treatment of lime and sulfitation raw juice temperature maintained around 70 to 75 degrees celsius the heated raw juice sent to reaction vessel of sulfitor juice sulfitation It is a process of purification of cane juice by employing milk of lime and sulfur dioxide gas. Now the juice sulfitor is called as a reaction vessel. In this vessel lime and sulfur dioxide is added and the finally maintained neutral pH of 7.0. the juice comes from the juice sulfitor is called sulfited 
Sulfited or treated juice heating after completion of reaction in juice sulfiter again juice heated up to its boiling point is called sulfited juice or treated juice heating. Sulfited juice temperature maintained around 100 to 102 degree Celsius. The clear juice sent to evaporation system and mud sent to further juice extraction. After evaporation, once again, sulfur dioxide gas introduced into sugar syrup. Syrup sulfitation, the vessel used for the syrup sulfitation process is called syrup sulfiter. The sulfur dioxide gas passed through syrup in the syrup sulfitation tank till it reaches to 4.8 to 5.2 pH. After this process, syrup is transferred into crystallization unit. Now we will discuss about flow chart for white sugar process. The collected juice from the juice extraction system is sent to process house to produce sugar. After juice extraction, the residue is called bagas and it is sent to boiler as a fuel. The extracted juice is called, called depended upon the technology used for the juice extraction. It is called as mixed juice or raw juice. Now we will discuss about juice clarification. In juice clarification process having following stages, first one is juice heating, sulfitation, juice clarification, evaporation of the juice and last one is syrup sulfitation. Now juice heating, juice heating normally done by three stages the raw juice, sulfited juice heating and clear juice heating. For juice heating used different types of heaters like tabular heaters, direct contact heaters and plate type heaters. Heating of the mixed juice or raw juice comes from juice extraction system before the treatment of lime and sulfitation. Raw juice temperature maintained around 70 to 75 degrees Celsius. The heated raw juice sent to reaction vessel of the sulfiter. Juice sulfitation it is a process of purification of cane juice by employing milk of lime and sulfur dioxide gas. The juice sulfiter is called as reaction vessel. In this vessel, lime and sulfur dioxide is added and finally maintained neutral pH 7.0. The juice comes from the juice sulfiter is called sulfited juice. Now sulfited or treated juice heating after completion of reaction in the juice sulfiter again juice heated up to its boiling point is called sulfited juice or treated juice heating. Sulfited juice temperature maintained around 100 to 102 degrees Celsius. Now the juice clarification, juice clarifier, the function of clarifier is to separate the insoluble solids in sulfited juice which are in flocks by the means of settling and allowing the clear juice. The clarification process separates the juices treated into two layers. The first one is clear juice which rises to top surface. Second is the mud which collects at the bottom. The clear juice sent to evaporation system and mud sent to further juice extraction. The settled 
malt in clarifier contains sugar to extract the juice from the malt used filtration technology of vacuum filter now evaporation in evaporation process the concentration carried out until the percentage of solids has reached not less than 70% the process is conducted under a system of multiple effect evaporators that is concentrating clear juice is called syrup and it's about 55 to 65 bricks concentration and ph is varying from 6.5 to 6.8 no next step is syrup sulfitation the vessel used for the syrup sulfitation process is called syrup sulfiter the sulfur dioxide gas passes through syrup in syrup sulfitation tank till it reaches 24.8 to 5.2 ph no next step is crystallization after sulfitation of the syrup is goes to further processes of the crystallization this syrup boiling process done by vacuum pans the pan boiling essentially consists of further removal of water by evaporation in single effect and crystallizing out sugar by increasing the concentration The function of vacuum pan is to produce and develop sugar crystals of desired size from the syrup or molasses known as mother liquor. And now the last step one is centrifuging the machine in which crystals in Massicute size are separated from the surrounding molasses or syrup by centrifugal force called centrifugal or centrifuge. Centrifugal machines are mostly divided into two two types. First one is batch type centrifugal machine. Second is continuous type centrifugal machine. now batch centrifugal machine used for high grade messy cured and continuous machines are for low grade messy cures the batch centrifugal machine takes feed in batch process it consists of perforated drum or basket revolving on a vertical shaft or x is called as spindle The basket re- revolves within a metallic casing which catches the molasses from of molasses due to centrifugal force at the time of the separation of molasses the sugar washed with superheated wash water and dropped the sugar in hopper for drying process now the sugar drying and cooling white sugar discharged from centrifugal machine is having 0.1 to 0.4% moisture and 60 to 80 degree celsius temperature the higher moisture and temperature of the sugar form lumps during storage so sugar should be carried to dry to a safe limit up to 0.04% moisture and cooled up to 38 to 40 degrees celsius now the sugar drying and cooling operation are carried out with the help of hot air and cold air for sugar drying process use the equipments like grass hoppers and fluidized bed hopper or rotary sugar dryer
शुगर क्रिस्टल साइज क्लासिफिकेशन इज यूजली अचीव बाई यूजिंग वायर मैश और कॉर्पोरेटेड प्लेट टू विच शुगर क्रिस्टल स्मॉलर देन स्क्रीन अपर्चर मे पास वाई लार्जेस्ट फ्रैक्शन इज कैरीड ओवर द सर्फिस अकॉर्डिंग टू शुगर क्रिस्टल साइज देयर शेल बी डिवाइडेड इन टू डिफरेंट ग्रेड now these are references now this is your assignment